Well, hello, Man Cavers. We are back with Mrs. Man Cave's little crossley. She'll be joining us in a second to try and sort this because I weren't happy with the way it was starting. It should be a lot more reliable than that. Anyhow, Mrs. Man Cave is now coming and we're going to have a look because I think I spotted in a video the other day, the last one we done, I think I spotted a problem. I didn't spot it at the time, but I watched the video back two or three times and thought, hmm, I think there was meant to be a hole. Right, back in a minute. Roll the credits. Welcome to the man cave. Let the games begin. <laughs> oh, hey, hope you're keeping okay. Thanks for joining us today. Um, just trying to work out the reason why it wouldn't start before, and thank you ever so much for all your comments. Um, Mr. Mancase thinks that it might be something that we're going to look at the gasket on it, and we're just going to check a few other bits, so that's what we're going to do today. So, uh, I'll leave you in Mr. Mancase's capable hands. Right then, we need to get this carburetor off again. Right. Okay. Can you remember how to get that off? No. <laughs> we've got to take this split pin out. Oh, we've got to take it out again. I like putting that in. Oh, well, you can put it in again later. And the split pin. <sighs> Honestly. <laughs> right, pull that out. <laughs> we have children watching this tonight. That's it. Pull that out. Right, there you go. That's unclipped. Mm -hmm. Now we need to undo them. this screw again, don't we? We've got to get this pipe out, remember? Right, so this screw here. This one on the side. Yep. You remember, we don't take all the way out, I'll just sort of... Loosen it. Yeah, loosen it a bit. And then, that's oh. it, you can feel that work. Now that's enough, that's enough. Oh, okay. Right. Now we've got to sort of, do you remember how you get that out? You sort of... What, wiggle it? Wiggle this and pull it. But you've got to get that pipe out of that. Have you got to take that out? No, we ain't got to take that out this time, no. That should wiggle and pull. I'm trying, I've got the wiggle, but I can't pull. Yeah. <laughs> That's coming. Look at us. Now it's got to come right out the tank. Look. Oh. Hang on. This has got to come right out of the tank. There you go. Off right. right. We really ought to check. We can actually blow through this. Ooh, not quite like that. I thought you were going to get your, your thingy out. That's pretty hard to blow through this. Because when this was running the other day, guys, it was like hitting and missing, which it shouldn't do. And it weren't drawing petrol up into there, we noticed. We had it running for about 20 minutes. And it kept using this petrol up and not drawing fresh in. And um, when I was re-watching the first video, I have a sneaky feeling I know what the problem was, or is. So, you'll take these two nuts out again now, so we can get that carburetor back off. <laughs> Whatever is that? I don't know. Is that a rag and bone, man? <laughs> Yeah, you've got to start doing the other one now. Remember, this carburetor got to drop slightly so yeah. you can get the bolts out. We had someone on a tannoy there, guys. What that was all about, I do not know. I'll have to hold this up a bit. Yeah. I'm getting there. And this one's out. Right, our carburetor is off. Now I get a sneaky feeling. See this little vent hole in here, guys? I have a sneaky feeling that goes right through to this crankcase, this carb body. And I don't think there's a hole in this gasket. 
and I have a feeling that might be for our pickup. But this pillar, this pipe, don't seem very clean anyhow inside. It's in there. We cleaned it out the other day. We it? did blow it out. I think I'm going to take the end off and actually mm. blow right through this with an airline now. Yeah. Okay. Because I'm not sure that. No, I can see through there, so this bit's all right. It, it's just. It might be this filter end, but I think that end actually unscrews off there, so we will take this filter mechanism off and see yeah. what's going on now i'll do that in the shed in a voice so okay. but at the minute i want to check to see if there is meant to be another hole in the gasket you got a hole there, there's you? a hole there and i have a feeling that goes through to the carb body because we're not pulling fuel guys and we need to know why so you want this undone yeah that's the wrong size spanner let me go get you some spanners gal okay. Whoa. Right, here we are. That started to rain, girl. Never mind. Good old English weather. Oh, yes. Right. You do this bolt this side, and I'll do this one this side. We'll double up on them. Mind your thumb. There we go. I take yours out and then we're going to see if there's a hole in that gasket. And if there isn't, is there another hole underneath this gasket? Where that's meant to pass through. Yeah, that should lift out now. There you go. Right. There's our hole we can see in here. But there's no hole. Because that comes off there, there's no hole in this gasket load. Now, is there another hole in this car body? If there is, I'm going to have to get a scraper and get this off. Right, we'll have to make a new gasket up, lady. Well, that's all right. Yeah. Let me go scrape all this off, and we'll see if there's a hole under there. Well, man cavers, we got rained off, but we are back. The shower has passed. So, there is no through hole, but I found the problem. Why it weren't picking fuel up. Now, the problem was with our pipe. I took the gauze off, and there was a check valve in there with a little one-way, a little ball bearing, so it can suck petrol but it can't run back down the pipe. That little ball bearing was stuck shut, so you couldn't blow through it either way. So that will be why we weren't... Uh, any fuel. That's why it weren't picking up any fuel, because it couldn't. Mm -hmm. Right, there is no hole between here and there. I thought there might have been a hole go through, but there isn't. Which way does that come? That comes here and comes this way. Mm -hmm. But there is no hole. There's a hole that goes through the top there. I mean, why is that? I don't know. But this flap was working. Mm -hmm. So that's obviously some form of automatic choke. I'm guessing. Not sure. Mm -hmm. I'm assuming that pulse up and down as the engine's running. And that may be cause a vacuum mm -hmm. to pull this petrol up this pipe. But no, we need to just make a gasket up mm -hmm. to go around here. Right. Yeah, we need to make a gasket up to go on there, and then we can be getting this back together. And I've got to blow them holes out, look where I've scraped the old gasket off. Mm. So I'll show you, Mrs. Mancave, how to make a gasket. Oh, <clears throat> Does that mean you're going to get a hammer out? That means we're going to get a hammer out, believe it or not. <laughs> right, here's some gasket paper. Hold that on there. Oh. Oh, hang on, I've got to walk in front of the camera again. Okay. Now I've got to get everyone's favourite hammer out, which is the carpenter's claw hammer. <laughs> right, so you're not wasting so much paper, go to the edge, there you go. And we sort of... This might be easier to do this one with scissors actually. Mm -hmm. Because there isn't much of a profiled edge to... That bit. Yeah, 
normally you can tap round them and cut the paper. Right, yeah, we can cut that out with a mm -hmm. pair of scissors. That's got to be easier than using the hammer in this mm -hmm. instance. Right, missus, you got your scissors? In a minute, hang on. First thing we want to do is punch our holes in. Yeah. Because if we don't punch your holes in now, it's going to be a job to punch them in with the gasket cut. Right. So we put that on a block of wood and we get our we get our hole punches out. Mm -hmm. Where's the bolts what come out, Gav? They were down there. Here they are. That's way too big. This will do. So we put this over the hole and we give it a twat. Give it a hit. There we go. Two holes in our gas paper. Now you can be cutting that out without going into them holes. Could go a little bit wider around them holes. That don't matter because you don't see it. While you're cutting that out, I'm just going to blow these threads out with an airline. See what I mean? You've got to cut around there. That's it. Yeah. How you getting on there? All done. You ain't cut the middle out? Oh no, you didn't say that last bit. Well how's it going to go, <laughs> how's it going to go over this lot? Oh, I know. Now start from the edge and cut round. Start from the edge? Yeah. I've got to nip it first. Hang on, oh don't fall, don't fall. No, how do you do that bit then? <sighs> you get your do-free out. We'll get a do-free and we'll make ourselves a witness mark where we need to start. Right. That's a good idea. And then just cut round. Yep. Yeah. Find that hole. That's it. That's it. Right, this surface is all clean. I think we're all good to go. Yeah. And I'm pretty, well, I'm 100% sure that wasn't picking fuel up. Of course, that little check valve was blocked was stuck. Right, now, mm. see if that fits. Right, so. It's not far out, is it? Mm, not too bad. Oh, that ain't far out. Yeah? Will well, that be alright? That'll do. That'll do us. So what is a gasket used for? Is it a bit like a... Well, that's, to, that's to make sure the joint is airtight. Mm -hmm. So that comes here, and this comes under here. So this got to come on this way, so we mustn't forget that. Yeah. We just stop the gasket. Hang on. Hang on. Right, what we're going to do is we're going to stick this down with a little bit of gasket sealer to help us. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Where's your gasket sealer? It's here. Look, oh, a, little, nice. a little bit of blue. Mm -hmm. So we just want a little bit of this around that edge without blocking that hole up, in case mm -hmm. that's anything critical. I don't know why I've got that vent hole there when it don't even go anywhere. Not a nice. So that's quite the mystery, that one. Now we can stick our gasket over and that'll hold it in place. How long do gaskets normally last? Years. Do they? Years and years and years. We'll probably never need to touch this gasket again. Mm -hmm. There you go. It's still pretty. So which way did this come on? Our carb sits here, that sits here, so we've got to come on this way. Mm -hmm. So 
So if you hold that upright, yeah. got it? Yeah. We'll get our bolts back in. Oh, the rain is coming again, look. That rained all day yesterday. An update on the dukes, guys. She is sitting there with no injector at the minute. Because the injector is over Attleboro Diesels to be reconditioned. Because that nozzle was well and truly seized up. So the Dukes, Deutz, I think someone said pronounce it Deutz. She is coming, but we just got to wait for the injector to be done. And then hopefully we'll have a running engine. Alright. Get these down fairly. There we go, one. Let's just do this other side. Mm -hmm. There you go. That look a bit neater than that other gasket as well. Right, now you can hold that back up. Check this gasket is all right. That's all right. Yeah. We didn't have a problem there, but that weren't drawing air in there before. Now, can you remember how that goes? You've got to sort of hold it up. These are quite awkward on these. For us and Hornsby's are a lot easier. All right. Take those back with the ones gone in. Right, no, don't worry about it. I'm just got to make sure this one gets started first. Because mm -hmm. this one got the stud still on it. Oh, yeah. No, let go of it. Let go of it. That's it. This is one of them jobs that are a little bit easier to do. But you can feel it. Can you get your nut on your side? There's your nut. Look. And then hopefully... It needs to come up a bit. Yeah, you know. you've got to sort of do your side, sort of hold it so you can get the nut on. And then the carburetor should sort of go up as the nut comes on. <laughs> can you do it? I can't get to it. That's not easy, is it, on there? No, that's not easy. That's quite tricky. Oh. Ah. Well, there's some damn dusting. No! Oh, oh, where did all that crap come from? Thanks. No, I can't get it. <laughs> Sorry, no. I'm just... Oh, I lost it now. Oh, I've got it. Hey, don't drop it in that petrol uh, tank. I was trying to get it around that other bit. I know. Can you do it or do you want me to do it? <laughs> no, I might need you to do it. I'm trying to hold it. Okay. I can't quite get it around. I don't know what I'm doing. Where's the nut? Engines, but sometimes you get an awkward bit like this. Yeah. Just now and again, you get one was a little bit awkward, and I'm afraid this is one. Yes. No, I don't matter. That should sort of pull like itself up when it's good and ready. All right, do your side up, Gal. <clears throat> oh, 
and then hopefully this will start easier and run better. So I can't help thinking that that air hole up on a gas over, I don't know why that air hole was in there if it's not going anywhere. But it's right to tighten, isn't it? Yeah, you can tighten that up, yeah. I'll hold the car up look, so that don't pull up bloody. When that start to go tight, we'll do this side. Well, I think that's enough. Yeah. We'll start to do this <coughs> side so that pulls up even. Mm -hmm. You don't just crank one side up and then the other. When one starts to go tight, do the other side and mm -hmm. then do them up gradually. That way you know they're going upright. Now the sun is out, look. Yay. Oh yeah, yesterday it rained all day, didn't it? Mm -hmm. Literally all day. Right, this side is done up yeah. to one ooga dooga. <laughs> yeah, that side's done up. Right, let me just not dispute your work, pal. That's what I, there you go. I like to sort of feel so I get a feel. Right. Right, well, so this all been un. That's all freed off, so you can now put that end back in and get that back in. You know how it goes. Keeping your flat bit towards the end, and that's it. Sort of wiggle and push. Wiggle the pipe up and down and push. That's it, and that'll sort of wiggle its way in. Oh, there you go. There you go, you're there. Make sure that one's all the way down. Yeah, that's not closing though. Maybe that's got to be lifted a tiny bit. You'll wiggle that and that'll. How is it? That's it. Is it? Yeah, now you can tighten that screw back up. Yeah, that's right, okay. Yes. Yeah, that's all the way in. Yeah. Then we can get our throttle linkage back on. Tight, tight, or? Well, just nip it up. Tight, yeah. Yeah. Nip it up. Right, get our throttle linkage back on and the split pin in. Yeah. What's the split pin got? That is. So that is a new one, isn't it? So. Yeah. Might have to nip that corner up to get it back in. There you go, she did. There you go, now make sure that split pin's not snagging, that isn't. Mm -hmm. Throttle is working freely. Right, I think we can do some priming now. Fill this with petrol, yeah. put a little bit in our primer, yeah. and see if it starts. Do you want me to check the spark plug? Or? No, no, we ain't got to touch that. No? No, I want to see if that's, because they should start quite easily first swing. Oh, no. So let's come round here. If you walk out now, Mrs. Man Cave. Right, where's your petrol? Well, the petrol's in the big can in the shed. And your handle should be on the bench somewhere. Right, move our gasket paper. That's it. Right, have you got the little panel? <clears throat> We'll just stick some petrol in here. That's it, that's like half full. Close that little lid up. All right, we need to get our oil can now and do our oiling points. Yeah, we just need a bit in there. Did you Hang on, not yet, not yet. No. All right, so you want to go around your oiling points, Mrs. Man Cave. Right. Fill our little cup up here. This bit? Yeah. Well, that'll be quite vicious, so because I've just filled that up. There you go. Is that enough? That's enough. Yeah. Yeah. Little, little bit on them valves. That's it. That'll probably drip down onto the one underneath. Is that enough? Yep, that's dripping onto one underneath. Don't forget this little hole in there. Oh, I'll keep missing it. That's it. Anywhere else? The rollers at the back. Yeah. Is it 
best to do this to squeeze each time you start. Yeah, a little bit on there where that throttle is, where that moves in and out. That's it. Whoa, bit of side. That's it. There you go. Magneto set. I think we're ready to prime and go for a start, mm -hmm. ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, you need your... You need the little bottle. Is your shaft lubed enough? Right. All right, that's full. Just respect. That's it, put it on there. That's it, now put your handle on and turn your handle backwards. And that'll make sure the oil is... Hang on, where's the deep free? Isn't that right? Yeah. That's it, now turn it backwards. That's it, that'll get the oil round. Alright, so we're full there. Now hopefully, now we've got a gasket and freed that ball valve right? off. Yeah. yeah, we don't touch them. Okay. If you remember last time, um, we was having tr big trouble with it, weren't we? But I think we're ready for a start. So undo your little tap. What, lift this one up? That's it, till that petal goes. Now shut up. Yeah. Right, now crank like hell. And hope that start. Fingers crossed. Can Mrs. Mancave start her engine easily? Right, go on. Pull me last time. Go on. <laughs> Get cranking. And as soon as that start, pull that handle off. You can. No. Are you even spinning that quick enough? Let me have a go, Cal. <laughs> I'm not sure whether, I don't know. I don't seem to want to start, do you? Switched off. Oh, trust you. Yeah, okay. That's not your fault. Right, now try it. Oh, we have the fuel switched off. Right, are you ready? You're on. I think we're flooded at probably. Oh. We'll, you we'll try once more. Well, do we need the spark plug out? Or? Well, we'll have to take off at Nunkle this time. Right. Try it now. That might have flooded. Ready? Go on. No, take the handle off. We may have overfilled that bowl again. Let's get the plug out and have a look. Well, you got the lead off already. Yeah, I've got it already. Right, you're quick on you went to get the spanner. Right, you're quick on you went to get the spanner. Oh, yeah, that plug is as wet as anything, look. Let me go blow that off with an airline. <laughs> yeah, that was flooded. Let's come back in with our plug. We won't need no more petrol in that. Hang on, let me do that plug up, gal. Oh, we've got, what's this down here? That's a washer. Right, put that knob look back on. Yeah. And go for another start. Maybe we primed it too much. Go on. Hey, whoa, 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 whoa. Now, you pull that handle off now. It's going to make a start. All right. Oh, that's running loose. There you go. 
Just stop on us. Is it not going through again? That's leaking. I was saying, maybe that leak is something to do with it. Why did she just stop? It's not out of petrol in that bowl. Mm -hmm. That's nothing stupid, is it? No. Wondering if I ain't lost its spark, has it? No, shouldn't have done. Shouldn't have lost her spark. But she's dripping it, drink, dripping quite a bit out there, isn't she? Mm. So I don't know.
I don't know, gal. There's nothing under there that should drip from. Right, okay, that's a bizarre one, isn't it? So where does the petrol go from? It sort of feeds through that pipe. It comes, draws up this pipe. Yeah. Through this, and then get let into the bowl. To keep this topped up. Mm -hmm. That looks like that's over that pickup pipe. Mm. <clears throat> Where's the petrol? Um, I don't know, you had it. Oh, it's down here. <laughs> Unless that has run out of petrol and that still isn't drawing. Unless we have lost our spark, that was a very sudden stop. So you didn't close it off again. No, she's still dripping out. Mm. More tinkering required. I shouldn't be. I can't see any reason why that wouldn't. Because we have got neat petrol in the bottom of this tank, guys. There's no diesel in there at all or no paraffin. So that should, even if we're opening this too early, that should keep running because there's petrol in this bottom tank. That is very bizarre, that. I thought she was on a winning streak mm. for a minute. Okay. I'm wondering if we've got a spark issue. Not fuel this time. <coughs> no, she's still tripping out, John, so there's something going yeah, on. Yeah, that petrol, that plug is sodden wet again. Yeah. That could have been us just flooded up the prime in it. Or we might not have a spark. Mm -hmm. Alright, let's see if we've got a spark girl. I'll okay. need you to just crank that when I say. Yeah. Let's get this plug back on. Do you want to get around there with your handle? Yeah. Sparking every time, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, we've got a good spark. So it's not that. No. I think we need to check somewhere under here because there's something going on. And if it is because we flooded it and it's dripping out somewhere, I don't know. Okay, 
can't see where that would drip out round the bottom there. Because really, that's just an air valve. Mm -hmm. So if it was to drip out the air valve, why would that be? Where's that little screwdriver? I don't know. There shouldn't be peril getting down to that air valve. Mm -hmm. Oh, goodness knows. I mean, nothing loose around there, does no, there? No, no. That's way loose. Or? No, nothing's gone loose. Can you see what I mean? There's quite a bit down there. There it? is. So I thought that just initially, because we may have overfilled it and flooded it. But... What's this pin there? That's, that's got a pin on there to stop this one chattering open. Oh, There right. should be another one on this side. But yeah. I've, 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 this one's gone altogether, but that shouldn't matter. Oh, right. Well, we're definitely in that pickup pipe. It's like us over fueling. Mm -hmm. All right, give her another crank. Now we'll clean the plug. Remember, pull that handle off as soon as that yeah. start. Just getting used to it, isn't it? Ready? Oh, go on. Half a barrel in. There you go. No try it. So we've got a good blue spark there. Ready? Go on. Quick as you can. No. Well, we're going to have to do more tinkering, guys. Not being funny, but we've got enough petrol in it. Yeah, there's plenty of petrol in it, yeah. Yeah, that's a bizarre one, isn't it? So if any of you guys got any ideas, it don't appear we're losing a spark. The plug is new. Why did you all of a sudden just stop on us? Anyhow, that's going to be it for this video because it's 45 minutes long. So <laughs> say your cheerios. That's what we've got 45 minutes here, so oh, wow. say your cheerios. All right, then. I just want to say thank you ever so much for watching. Please like and subscribe. 1,500 away from 10,000, so we're getting there. So please, please share. Thank you for all your comments, all your advice. I have read them through, um, but I haven't had a chance to reply to everyone. But thank you, it's much appreciated. And you take care and enjoy the rest of your day. Bye. Ah! Well, quick update. Half an hour later now, she's still going again. Turns out you've got to get a delicate balance between this one and this one. You can't just have this one flat out, cause that floods. She flooded herself. But I got her going again and worked these two needles, and now 30 minutes on, she's still going. So I think it was a balance of getting these needles right. I think this one's open to about number five, and that one's open to about number two. It's just sort of quarter a turn open, this one. You seem to be going all right. There you go. So I'll put this on the end of our video. Yeah, she seem to be going all right now. Ah! Mrs. Man Cave is much happier. Cross lead. PH 1030. Running sweet as a nut. Our light is still going. We're steaming. We'd better shut her down. She's running a lot better. There you go. Oh, 
Oh, that's shot her down. There you go. Open her up. Get away again. And this is bone dry. So, I thought this tap kept this carb full. It doesn't. That literally is just to start it. And then it runs off that needle. Shut her down. And open. There we go. So, she's gone. Ah!